All right, so this is the last lecture on refutation trees, and today what we'll talk about is how to use refutation trees to uh, decide whether a proposition is a tautology or a contradiction. So we can use refutation trees to do this, and it's not... Uh, something that requires you to learn any new inference rules. It's very straightforward. It's also possible, uh, by the way, to use refutation trees to tell whether a proposition is contingent, but you can't just use one tree to do this. You have to use two. You'd have to show, use one to show uh, that it's not a contradiction and another to show that it's not a tautology. And we're just not going to do that. So we're not going to bother with contingent propositions. Um, we're just going to focus on tautologies and contradictions. Okay, so remember that a contradiction is a proposition that's a necessary falsehood, uh, which means that uh, it's false under every interpretation, uh, every line of the truth table. So what this means that, is that if you run a refutation tree on a contradiction, every branch of it will close. Now, it might seem odd to you that we're talking about ref, running a refutation tree just on one proposition, but there's nothing weird about that. I mean, a proposition is just a list of, a single proposition is just a list uh, with with only one member, right? And so... There's nothing uh, against the rules there. So consider uh, the mother of all contradictions, P and not P. That's how that goes. You just apply the rule for a conjunction. P and not P goes to P and not P, which closes immediately. So there's only one branch and it closes. So that's how you know it's a contradiction. But if you look at one that's just not obviously contradictory, how does it work out? So P or R, and it's not the case that if not P, then P or R. So let's figure out if that's a contradiction. So we don't negate it. We just leave it. Uh, we just leave it at, in this form. So first off, we would go ahead and operate on the conjunction, since the conjunction right here is the main connective. Conjunction is the main connective. Um, so P or R and, it's not the case that if not P, then P or R, or is a uh, the disjunction is branching, the negated conditional is non-branching, so we'll operate on that. And you get not P and, it's not the case that P or R, dispatch. And then uh, you operate on the negated disjunction, which is also non-branching, and you get not P and not R. And again, you'll see that there are no, uh, no contradictions so far. But you've still got P or R to operate on. And when you operate on P or R, which is a branch branching rule, P contradicts not P and R contradicts not R. So both branches close. So we infer uh, that this is a contradiction. Okay? So contradictions, don't negate them, just write them down, run a refutation tree rule. If, if it uh, closes on all branches, then it's a contradiction. If you start to think about this a little bit on your own, which is usually really a good idea, uh, you could end up drawing a, um, a false inference about the relation between contradictions and tautologies. So you might think that since a contradiction is a proposition in which uh, its refutation tree closes on all the branches, that a tautology being 
in a sense, the opposite of a contradiction would just be one in which all the branches are open. Well, it's true that uh, tautology, if you run a refutation tree on a tautology, all the branches will remain open. But that uh, idea isn't correct because it doesn't distinguish between a tautology and a contingent proposition. So in other words, a refutation tree on contingent propositions also sometimes has all the branches open. So just think about something like P or Q. That's true sometimes and it's false sometimes as so a contingent proposition. But if you, you know, if you run a refutation tree on P or Q, you've got P on one side, Q on the other, and not, neither of its branches closes. So that's not how we figure out whether something's a tautology. The most you can conclude from finding that a refutation tree has all its branches open is that it's either a tautology or, cont or contingent, which uh, we sometimes say in the book uh, says, um, means it's truth functionally consistent. Another way to say that is that it's not a contradiction. So how do we do how do we determine tautologies? Well, to see that what, what we do is we negate the tautology. If you negate a tautology, you'll remember you get a contradiction. So if a proposition is a tautology and we run a refutation tree on it, on its negation, take a tautology, negate it, if then all of its branches will close. So the mother of all contradictions is uh, P and not P. The mother of all tautologies is P or not P. Uh, so let's uh, negate it and see what happens. Well, you negate P or not P, and then you just uh, apply the negated disjunction rule and you get not P and not not P. And not P and not not P are contradictory. So we knew it was a tautology to begin with, and, and we've just confirmed it with the refutation tree rule. All right, so we can uh, operate on uh, a little less obvious example of a tautology. And you should just go ahead and do this on your own, right? This is just another opportunity. There's nothing new about how to do, to do uh, these with respect to the rules. All you have to do is remember that when you're going to test um, whether or not a proposition is a tautology, you have to start by negating it, which is what you're used to doing. You don't do it for a contradiction, but you, you do do it for a tautology. And then you just run the refutation tree rule. So hopefully by now uh, you're comfortable seeing that this is a negated conditional. So you're going to go to P or Q and it's not the case that if R then S then not Q then P. Dispatch, then you see that you've got another negated conditional and a disjunction. So negated conditional again goes to R or S and it's not the case that if not Q then P. Dispatch. Now you got two disjunctions and another negated conditional. So again, not Q and not P. No contradictions so far. Now you've only got two disjunctions left. P or Q or R or S. I should be being more consistent here. It's not an absolute rule, but if I'm going to use brackets, I should use them all the time. Um, P or Q or P or Q, R or S. Um, are the only ones left. And you'll notice that you could just choose blindly, but if you think a little bit, you got not Q, not P, and P, Q, and you know how this rule works, right? So if you go ahead and operate on P or Q, all branches are going to close, and you never actually have to operate on R or S. Remember, that's okay. Um, there's no absolute rule, whether you're working on arguments or individual propositions, there's no absolute rule that you have to operate on all 
the propositions. Everything depends on the particulars of the case. Uh, something might uh, close, uh, an argument might close because a branch, one branch is finished and it remains open, then you're done, you've shown that it's invalid. Um, and in, in, in this case, uh, in our, you, you can show that if you, if you get contradictions before you've operated on all the propositions, um, on all the branches, then you're done. That's just all there is to it. So you might ask this, um, similar to what we were, we were talking about before, what kind of refutation tree happens if we negate a contradiction? So suppose that something's a contradiction and we negate it. Um, you might think um, something like this, if, if all branches close on a regular contradiction and non-negated contradiction, then all branches will be, sorry, I should say, then, then all branches will be open in a negated one, right? You might think that if you just take a contradiction and negate it, then all the branches will be, will remain open. Um, and that's true, actually. That's actually what happens. But does this mean that if we negate a proposition and all the branches are open, then it must be a contradiction? In other words, couldn't we just treat contradictions uh, the way we treat tautologies, just negate it and say, well, if the branches all remain open, then it's a contradiction. And the answer to that is uh, no, actually it turns out to be no, because look, all you have to do is uh, take something that you know to be a contingent proposition like P or Q and negate it and uh, run the tree. All the branches will remain open, but it's not a contradiction. It's it's a contingent proposition. So you have to do the point here of that discussion is that you have to do test contradictoriness and tautologiousness in exactly the way we're saying. Okay. So to summarize, whether we're checking for a contradiction or a tautology. The operant question is always, do all the branches close? So if a proposition is a contradiction, then all the branches of its refutation tree close and you don't, you don't negate the contradiction. You just, you just toss the proposition up, run a refutation tree. If all the branches close, then it's a contradiction. If a proposition is a tautology, then all branches of the refutation tree of its negation will close. So if something's a tautology, if you're testing for a tautology, you throw, throw it on the board, negate it, run refutation tree. If all of the branches close, then it's a tautology. Okay, and that's it.